Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Riders here. I'm here at La Cocina in Tucson, a haunted restaurant. Let's check it out. We've done some videos on ghost stories over the years, but this week we're going to bring it to our home base of Tucson. It's not hard to imagine that an area inhabited since at least 2100 BC would have some paranormal energy in it, but we are going to focus on the Old West portion of this. Downtown Tucson was a fort in 1775 named Presidio San Agustin de Tucson. Yeah, you can see why it was shortened to just Tucson. In the Brazen Bill episode, I talked about the courthouse Bill's body was propped up against. Hey, can we retake that picture? My eyes are closed. Well, it was within the walls of this Presidio. Even though the structures are essentially built over due to progress, the Presidio Museum shows life as it was back in the Spanish colonial days. Thanks to the living historians who volunteer there and for firing the cannon that scared the heck out of our camera lady. I apologize to the children who had to hear the string of obscenities immediately after. Across the street is the artisan area and La Cocina, our first haunt today. We're here with Joe at La Cocina restaurant here in Tucson, who is the owner, right? That's very cool. Tell me a little bit about the history of this place. So we call it Laco now, we have a shortened name. This restaurant, La Cocina, was started in 19, about 1993 or so. But this complex, it was actually part of the Presidio Fort. This was a stable part of the fort. So it's a whole city block. And in about 1875, this complex became, it became a construction site, essentially. This building was built and finished in about 1885. But if you were to walk into this building here, you would see some of the original ceiling and some of the wallpaper that was brought over from China. So all these rooms are just filled with so much history. Wow, yeah. So that also shows a lot of the commerce that came into Tucson Exactly, at the time. this was like one of the first sort of kind of strip malls that was ever in the Tucson, because oh. he, this man owned this complex for a very long time. He ended up going bankrupt. But it was individual shops. There was a pharmacy here. There was a market here. We hear there was a brothel here. I don't know if that's true. Yeah, but likely. this was actually sort of like first Tucson strip mall. In the mid 30s, it was bought by a family and they rented a lot to uh, artisans. And so they had their studios with their living quarters. So it became Old Town Artisans, got its name in the 30s. The other reason we're here, too, is because we heard that the, a rumor that, that there may be some hauntings going on. What do you think about that? Well, I think that based on its history, it's entirely true. This was at one time a Native American village, and then it became a fort. So I think that history alone has issues. You know what I mean? I think, right, right. Yes. Uh, th there's ghost tours here, and uh, we are on like haunted restaurants. We're in that. Have you personally had any kind of... Here's what I'll say, I've never by myself here. Okay. I don't mind being by myself during the day. I never come here at night alone. And every time someone's here by themselves at, alone at night, I'll get a text like, I'm not doing this again. I want okay. somebody with me. I, I, it's just a feeling. There is supposed to be a, a little girl that, uh, there was a fire inside this complex at one point. Her family lived and apparently a little girl died in a fire. And a lot of people, a lot of on, on their ghost tours, who say they see the little girl. They say there's a cowboy that lives upstairs in the tall boys, um, in the bar up there. I personally have not seen it, but I can tell you there's feelings okay. <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. Oh, but great. it's, I feel it's wonderful and safe and a very communal experience for everyone. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much for coming on. Thank up you today. so much. I'm so glad Appreciate you came it. here. Thank you. A few blocks away from La Cocina, is the St. Augustine Cathedral, started in 1858. It is said the spirit of a nun is seen in various parts of the building. Apparently, she likes to change up the rooms she haunts. Maybe she doesn't want to make it a habit. I beg your pardon, what did you say? 
Fort Lowell is an army installation built in 1873 during the Indian Wars. We film intros there sometimes, and today, the remains in a museum are nestled in a park for future generations to learn about. I guess it's no wonder that it's also haunted. Apparently, people have seen soldiers roaming the grounds as far back as 1900. One report mentions hearing and seeing a phantom carriage driven by men in uniform. Now, we all have ghost stories in our hometowns. Some of you may even have had some experiences you can't explain. I can assure you that we at Arizona Ghost Riders will look into some more of these for future episodes. Well folks, that's it for another episode. I hope you have a happy Halloween. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe, and welcome to prime time, Santee. Is that you, Batjack? It's only your nightmare. No. Ha ha ha!